If their chart history counts for anything, you're likely going to hear this song, Hello, a lot over the next few months. It's the latest release from one of this country's most popular bands, Headley. For more than 10 years, they've had hit after hit. A band that's Canadian through and through, from their musical influences to the small BC town they're named after. I talked to lead singer Jacob Hogard and guitarist Dave Rosen about that in our studio in Vancouver. You guys are so Canadian from your name, Headley. Have you been to Headley, by the way? I was there this week. I was actually just on the Crow's Nest Highway this week, so yes. All right, okay. <laughs> I was just there. Yeah, yeah. Good for you. Um, <laughs> you guys have played everywhere. You know, I mentioned I grew up. Tumblr Ridge the Gander, man. Well, and I mentioned, you know, throw out a town, Moncton, New Brunswick, and you remember playing at the Capitol Theater there. You've been right across this country, and you've been a staple of radio in this country for, for more than 10 years. We're and very so, fortunate. I mean, do, do you think of yourself, do you ever comp sort of think back to bands from when you were a kid or growing up and say, yeah, you know, that's the kind of band. I, we want to be because I can't think of an analogy. Really. I think we just wanted to be a band. I think it's hard to put comparisons on yeah. things because you always just want to do your own thing. Yeah. I mean, I personally wanted to be the Matthew Good Band growing up. He was my idol. Really? Yeah. Absolutely. Of all the bands in the world. Of all the bands in the world, I somehow stumbled upon Matt Good at, at 13 years old. And, and, yeah, and that was like, that was it for me. He kind of hit me, the emotion and just his character. It was something that really stuck with me. So. It's really interesting always running into the guys from the Bare Naked Ladies because they've got su they've had such a diverse career. Mm -hmm. And that was one of my first shows. When I grew up in Prince George, uh, it was the Gordon tour. And that was such a huge tape and a huge record. Gordon still, I think, stands out as a piece of Canadian icon. And they then went on to find success elsewhere. And uh, But every time we see them now, it's it's kind of funny because like they'll bring their kids to our shows and stuff and they're such great individuals and, and musicians. They just love playing music together still. Line up all the idols who paint on phony smiles Trying to ride the fast track for free Their song, Cha Ching, with its references to reality television, is a reminder of how most of us first saw Hogard on Canadian Idol. He placed third that year but became the show's most successful musician. You get tired about being asked about Canadian Idol? Um, no, and I mean, for a lot of reasons, it's just kind of where I came from. And if I had to do it all over again, I probably would. The truth, probably would. Probably. <laughs> do you like how I threw that in? I pro I'd probably maybe think about it. No, actually, I wouldn't be here today, if it, not, not just for that show, but because of my mom. And it's, it's a little story that I never really tell anybody, but I was just working in construction. I didn't graduate high school and I was like, I'm going to be a carpenter. That's fine. I can do this for a living. I'm a carpenter by trade still, but I, I moved on to music, obviously. And that's only because my mom called me up one day and she's like, look, there's this idol show coming through town. Uh, you should go audition. And I said, mom, that's a terrible idea. I'm absolutely not going to do that. And she's like, okay, fine. Calls me the next day and goes, listen, I signed you up. She forged my signature on all the application papers, did everything for me. She's like, all you got to do is just go. Please just go and show up and try it. And I was like, okay, fine. And so I went down to Canada Place and auditioned. I was like, okay. And that was it. You know, like it, in a matter of moments, my life kind of changed. And that was the, one of the wildest summers of my life. And since then, I've never looked back. Falling a thousand feet per second. You still take me by surprise I just know we can't be over I can see it in your eyes They're pretty likable guys and their songs are radio friendly and that's given them a fan base across Canada that's loyal and puzzled. You can see it in lots of the online comments like this YouTube viewer who says I don't understand why Headley isn't famous internationally. If the band shares that frustration, it doesn't show. We tour in America and we tour in Europe and it's one of those things that we obviously don't play arenas like we do in Canada, but it's something that we've continued to chip away at and I think we're proud of the fact that we just get to travel to those places and we get to go to France and we get to go to Spain and we get to go to Germany and we get to go to Texas and New York City and Nashville, Tennessee. And so those are all part of the list of places we get to travel. So 
for us, you know, the, the level of successes we've achieved have never been as much as uh, a point of pride for us as the experiences we've shared. There's no crystal ball. And yeah. I think, you know what, we are perpetually the rock and a slingshot being fired at a bowling ball. And I think we're <laughs> cool with that because, you know, I think, you know, we will continue to do what we do because we play music, as Jake said. For someone who, who maybe isn't as familiar with Headley as, as a much music viewer might be, what would you recommend they watch or listen to? What's well, the, we're, we're going on. I recommend on, you come come to the show. Come to tour. Yeah. Because those are the funnest shows yeah, for yeah. me too, where you go and you go, I've heard that song. Oh, that song too. Oh my gosh, these are those guys. Yeah, and it's funny to be part of that experience. And for us, again, touring is what we do and, and, and playing music live is who we are. From the very beginning, we've always really prided ourselves on, on our ability to sound like the record. They, you know, oh wow, they really sound like the record there. But, and then some as well, because there's that ferocious emotion you can really conjure up and cultivate on stage. And I think that's really where we are, that's our wheelhouse. I do wanna love you. Don't see yourself at a Headley concert? No problem. I asked the bandmates how else they could impress a CBC audience. We're tidy. <laughs> um, I was involved with my community garden plot. <laughs> I don't know, dishes don't sit around in my place. It's clean. Maybe you have the wrong idea of who's right. watching. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, man, uh, like I said, we were just talking about a second ago, but uh, you know, we're a touring act. This is what we do for a living, and it's a real point of pride for us, and it's a moment that we'd love to share with everybody. And say hello. It's okay. Next year, they'll be on a cross-country tour with, no surprise, a Canadian opening act, Carly Rae Jepsen. And remember, they want you to know they're neat, polite, and would love to see you at a show. Ian Hanamansing, CBC News, Vancouver. Bye.